The great Buddha once said, Speak only the speech that neither torments self nor does harm to others. That speech is truly well spoken. In alignment with this timeless wisdom, we bring you 11 invaluable lessons on what not to discuss if you wish to follow the path of Buddhism and emulate the inner peace of the Buddha. These teachings emphasize mindfulness, compassion and wisdom. Before we embark on this enlightening journey, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay connected with our spiritual content. Lesson 1. Don't talk about your achievements. The first lesson in our list is to avoid talking about your achievements. As the Buddha said, pride is the root of all evil. Boasting about your accomplishments can lead to arrogance and ego, which hinder your spiritual growth. In Buddhism, the focus is on selflessness and recognizing the impermanence of all things. Discussing your achievements can create attachment to your ego, preventing you from understanding the transient nature of worldly success. Additionally, when you refrain from talking about your achievements, you allow others to shine and share their experiences without feeling overshadowed or less valued. This practice of humility fosters a sense of equality and interconnectedness, which is central to Buddhist teachings. Instead of seeking recognition, channel your energy into selfless acts of kindness and compassion, for it is in these actions that true spiritual growth is nurtured. Remember, as the Buddha taught, better than a thousand hollow words is one word that brings peace. So let your actions speak louder than words, and your inner peace will flourish. Lesson 2. Don't talk about challenges, not overcome. Lesson number two is to avoid discussing challenges you have not yet overcome. This principle aligns closely with the Buddha's teachings on the nature of suffering and the path to enlightenment. The Buddha taught that suffering or dukkha is an intrinsic part of human existence. It can manifest in various forms, including physical and emotional pain, life's hardships, and the challenges we encounter. Instead of avoiding or denying suffering, the Buddha encouraged us to acknowledge it as an inherent aspect of life. When we discuss challenges that we have not yet overcome, we often focus on the negative aspects and the difficulties we face. This can lead to feelings of frustration, self-doubt, and anxiety, which are counterproductive on the path to inner peace. Instead, the Buddha encouraged us to focus on our journey and the lessons we can learn from our experiences. By embracing challenges as opportunities for personal growth and spiritual development, we shift our perspective from one of avoidance to one of acceptance and resilience. The key lies in understanding that the journey itself is as important as the destination. Every challenge, whether overcome or not, provides valuable insights and opportunities for self-discovery. It is through these experiences that we can cultivate mindfulness, compassion and wisdom. So, remember, when faced with challenges, view them as stepping stones on your spiritual journey. Embrace them with an open heart and a willingness to learn, for it is in these moments of adversity that the seeds of wisdom and enlightenment can truly flourish. Lesson 3. Don't talk about your good deeds. Lesson 3 is to avoid talking about your good deeds. In Buddhism, the emphasis is not just on performing virtuous acts, but also on the intention behind those acts. The Buddha taught the importance of performing virtuous acts without attachment to recognition or reward. It's not about seeking praise or acknowledgement for your generosity, but rather about genuinely helping others and cultivating a compassionate heart. The Buddha said, even as a solid rock is unshaken by the wind, so are the wise unshaken by praise or blame. By keeping your good deeds private, you practice humility and prevent the development of ego, which can obstruct your spiritual growth. Instead of boasting about your acts of kindness, silently rejoice in the positive impact you've had on others' lives. 
remember that the true essence of giving lies in the selfless intention to alleviate suffering and promote well-being. Let your actions speak for themselves and inspire others through your compassionate example. By avoiding discussions about your good deeds, you not only cultivate a sense of humility, but also create a more authentic and sincere connection with the world around you. Lesson 4. Don't talk about your resentment. Lesson 4 is to avoid talking about your resentment. Resentment can be a heavy burden that not only affects your mental and emotional well-being, but also hinders your spiritual growth on the path of Buddhism. In Buddhism, the emphasis is on self-discovery and inner growth. By keeping your deepest dreams close to your heart, you align with the teachings of mindfulness and the importance of cultivating inner peace and wisdom. Lesson 6. Don't talk about your next steps. Lesson 6 is to avoid discussing your next steps in detail. In Buddhism, there's a profound emphasis on impermanence. Plans can change, and becoming too attached to specific future outcomes can create anxiety and disappointment if things don't go as expected. Instead, the teachings encourage us to focus on the present moment and take each step mindfully as it comes. One of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism is the concept of anatta or anatman, which means non-self. This concept reminds us that the self is ever-changing, just like everything else in the universe. When you openly discuss your next steps, you may be attaching your sense of self to those plans. This attachment can lead to suffering when circumstances inevitably shift. Instead, by keeping your future plans private, you allow yourself the freedom to adapt and flow with life's changes gracefully. This doesn't mean you shouldn't have goals or aspirations. Rather, it encourages you to approach them with a sense of flexibility and detachment, understanding that the path to any goal can take unexpected turns. Remember, mindfulness and living in the present moment are essential aspects of the Buddhist path. By focusing on what you can do today, you'll find a greater sense of peace and fulfillment knowing that you're making the most of each moment without becoming overly concerned about an uncertain future. Lesson 7. Don't talk about your doubts and uncertainties. Lesson 7 is to refrain from discussing your doubts and uncertainties openly. This is because in Buddhism, it is believed that dwelling on doubts can be counterproductive to your spiritual progress. Doubts and uncertainties are natural aspects of the human experience, but discussing them openly can sometimes lead to confusion or even reinforce those doubts. Instead, it is recommended to seek guidance and introspection in silence and solitude. The Buddha's teachings encourage inner reflection and meditation as powerful tools to overcome doubt. When you spend time in self-reflection, you can delve deeper into the nature of your doubts, explore their origins, and gradually find clarity. When you hold on to grudges, it's like carrying a bag of rocks wherever you go, each rock representing a negative emotion or past hurt. The Buddha himself emphasized the destructive nature of resentment when he said, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. This powerful analogy reminds us that harboring resentment harms us more than anyone else. Instead of allowing resentment to fester, practice forgiveness. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning harmful actions, but it does mean releasing the emotional attachment to those actions. It's a profound act of self-compassion and liberation. As the Buddha taught, Forgive others not because they deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve peace. Letting go of resentment is a significant step towards inner peace and spiritual progress. When you release the weight of grudges, you make room for love, compassion and understanding in your heart, aligning yourself more closely with the teachings of Buddhism.
Lesson 5. Don't talk about your deepest dream. Lesson 5 is a profound teaching in Buddhism. Don't talk about your deepest dream. Your dreams and aspirations are like delicate seeds that need time to grow and flourish. Sharing them prematurely can invite doubt and negativity from others, which can be detrimental to your own belief in them. Just as the Buddha once said, do not be a Frien who is only known in good teams. Be a Frien who is known in both good and bad teams. Keeping your deepest dreams within can help shield them from skepticism and external influences. Think of your dreams as a sapling, vulnerable to harsh weather conditions. By nurturing them privately, you create a safe and nurturing environment for their growth. In the silence of your heart, your dreams can take root and develop strong foundations. It's important to remember that dreams are personal and unique to each individual. They are a reflection of your innermost desires and passions. By guarding them, you protect their purity and authenticity. When the time is right and your dreams have matured, you can choose to share them with those who will support and uplift you. Until then, let them remain a sacred part of your inner world, a source of inspiration and motivation as you continue your journey towards self-realization. Meditation, in particular, is a practice that allows you to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Through regular meditation, you can gain insight into the impermanent and ever-changing nature of your thoughts, including your doubts. This can lead to a greater sense of inner peace and understanding. Remember that Buddhism teaches that the path to enlightenment involves confronting and transcending doubts and uncertainties. And this is often done through personal internal exploration. By keeping your doubts and uncertainties to yourself and seeking answers through inner reflection, you can work towards resolving them in a way that aligns with the teachings of Buddhism. Lesson 8. Don't talk about others. Lesson 8 is to avoid gossip and unnecessary discussions about others. Engaging in conversations about people's faults or personal lives can lead to judgment and negativity. The Buddha taught that such discussions not only harm the person being spoken about, but also pollute the mind of the one who speaks unkindly. The practice of loving-kindness and compassion is central to Buddhism. Instead of focusing on others' shortcomings, try to cultivate empathy and understanding. As the Buddha said, hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. This is the eternal rule. By practicing loving-kindness, you not only avoid causing harm through your words, but also contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate world. Remember that each person is on their own journey, facing their own challenges and struggles. Judging them based on limited information can be unjust and unhelpful. Instead, seek to see the good in others and offer support when needed. In this way, you align your actions with the Buddha's teachings and contribute to a more compassionate and peaceful society. Lesson 9. Don't talk about your moments of solitude. Lesson 9 is a profound reminder to cherish your moments of solitude and introspection. Solitude is a sacred space where you connect with your inner self and it plays a significant role in your spiritual journey. It's a time to unplug from the noise of the external world and turn your attention inward. Solitude offers you the opportunity to delve deep into self-discovery and inner growth. In these moments, you can reflect on your thoughts, emotions, and experiences without external influences. You may find clarity and insight that often elude you in the busyness of daily life. The Buddha himself frequently retreated into solitude to meditate and gain enlightenment. He understood the value of these moments and the transformative power they hold. So, it's essential to keep your solitary experiences close to your heart and avoid discussing them in excessive detail with others. 
sharing the profound insights and experiences gained in solitude can dilute their impact and invite external opinions and judgments. Instead, savor these moments as your personal sanctuary for growth and let them guide you on your path towards greater understanding and enlightenment. Lesson 10. Don't talk about unlearned lessons. Lesson 10 is a reminder not to discuss the lessons you have yet to learn fully. It's important to recognize that the path to enlightenment, as taught by the Buddha, is a lifelong journey of continuous learning and growth. Just as a lotus flower grows in muddy water but emerges pristine and beautiful, our personal growth often arises from the challenges and experiences we face. Embracing the fact that you don't have all the answers is a fundamental aspect of Buddhist wisdom. It encourages humility and openness to new insights. In the words of the Buddha, the wise person possesses humility. They know they have more to learn and are receptive to new teachings. So when you encounter aspects of your journey that remain unlearned or areas where you still struggle, remember that it's a natural part of the process. Share your experiences with fellow practitioners, but avoid dwelling on your shortcomings. Instead, focus on the progress you've made and the ongoing journey of self-discovery and personal growth. Lesson 11. Don't talk about your deepest plans. Lesson 11, perhaps one of the most profound teachings, is about guarding your deepest plans and intentions. The Buddha understood the importance of inner visions and dreams, and he encouraged us to hold them close to our hearts. Here's why. Prematurely sharing your most profound aspirations can invite skepticism and negativity from others who may not fully understand your vision. People's doubts or criticisms, even if well-intentioned, can create doubt within yourself. Your dreams are like delicate seeds, and sharing them too early might expose them to unfavorable conditions. Instead, nurture your innermost goals quietly and diligently much like a gardener tending to a seedling in a protected environment. Allow them to grow and develop within the nurturing space of your heart and mind. This practice helps you maintain a sense of purity and clarity in your intentions. The Buddha's teachings remind us that it's essential to trust your intuition and your connection with the universe. When the time is right and your plans have matured, you'll know when to share them with the world. By doing so, you not only protect your vision from external skepticism, but also ensure that it's strong enough to withstand the challenges that may come its way. So, keep your deepest plans close to your heart, let them take root, and when the time is ripe, they will flourish in a way that aligns with your spiritual journey and the greater good. Remember the path to enlightenment often involves preserving the sacredness of your innermost aspirations until they are ready to shine forth. These 11 lessons, deeply rooted in the profound wisdom of Buddhism, provide invaluable guidance for those on their journey toward enlightenment. They serve as a roadmap to help you cultivate mindfulness, compassion and wisdom in your everyday interactions and ultimately align your life with the teachings of the Buddha. The practice of avoiding these subjects is not about suppressing your thoughts or experiences, but rather about channeling your energy towards inner transformation. By refraining from discussing your achievements, challenges and good deeds, you can free yourself from the ego's grasp and develop a humble and selfless approach to life. Similarly, avoiding resentment, sharing your deepest dreams, discussing your next steps and opening up about doubts and uncertainties can help you maintain inner peace. These teachings encourage you to embrace the present moment Release attachments to what comes, and find solace in your own inner sanctuary during moments of solitude. Furthermore, 
Refraining from discussing others and guarding your deepest plans allows you to cultivate a sense of equanimity and non-judgmental awareness. It enables you to approach every being with an open heart, free from prejudice and preconceived notions. Remember, the path to enlightenment is not about achieving perfection overnight. It's a journey of continuous progress. Every step you take in aligning your speech and actions with these teachings brings you closer to embodying the qualities of a Buddha. If you found this video helpful and insightful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with others who are also on their spiritual journey, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your engagement fuels our mission to provide you with more wisdom and guidance for your path. Thank you for watching, and may you find enduring peace and profound wisdom on your journey toward enlightenment.